lot of grown men wouldn't appreciate being called silly, but when your career is built on laughs, it's considered a badge of honor. Alan Katz is an Emmy-nominated comedy writer as well as a children's author and has more than 30 silly titles under his belt, including his latest Ricky Vargas series, The Funniest Kid in the World and Born to be Funny. Welcome back to the show, well, Alan. thank you so much. Uh, you've had a very impressive career. Let's well, thank talk you. A um, silly, impressive career. I silly, think. impressive. <laughs> Let's talk about some of uh, your accomplishments. Well, sure. Um, I spent a lot of years uh, working with Rosie O'Donnell on her old TV show 10 years ago. I spent five years there uh, co-writing a lot of her songs that she would do parody songs. and and uh, games with the guests and all that. It was five years of great fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, we worked with her this past year on the, her show on the Oprah Network. Oh, Went great. back and forth to Chicago every week for several months. Good experience. Yeah, absolutely. So when did you start writing children's books? Well, it was actually my daughter who's uh, now at UConn. Uh, she's a junior. We have to say hi to Simone. Hello, and, Simone. And Ashley and, uh, <laughs> and Lindsay. And, um, she said, how about writing some funny songs for kids after having participated in a thousand parody songs over the years at the Rosie Show? Mm -hmm. um, and that became the book Take Me Out of the Bathtub and Other Silly Dilly Songs. <laughs> and there were song parodies in there uh, to well-known tunes. So instead of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, it's Stinky Stinky Diaper Change. <laughs> and, um, and that's, you know, caught on over the years. And there are now nine Silly Dilly Song books in all, including all right. a potty training book and a Christmas book and... A lot of funny, silly songs. Have fun. You have four kids, correct? I have four kids. I'm Simone. sure they were your inspiration, right? Absolutely. Simone is, uh, is 20, and my son Andrew is 18. He's heading to Northwestern in the fall oh, to embark on a career in the media, hopefully. And uh, we have twin boys, Nathan and David, who are 12. David starred this past weekend in Greece, at the, or was a, one of the stars of Greece at the uh, Weston Middle School. Sure. And uh, his twin brother, Nathan, is a terrific swimmer. Sure. And their mom is an awesome <laughs> journalist. I have to get everybody in. You do. Other, I'm glad you know the fabulous family you have. It's a fabulous, fabulous family. My wife is a Pulitzer-nominated journalist, and she does the serious stuff in life, and I do the silly stuff. And together, the kids kind of nice learn the right? difference. Right. That's great. All right, well, let's talk about uh, Ricky Vargas. Sure. Why is he so funny? Well, Ricky Vargas, you know, it's fun to be funny. It's fun to get laughs, but there are times and places to be funny. I always say I visit a lot of schools all around the country. And I like to say that making a joke when appropriate is a good thing. Sure. But making a joke at anybody else's expense is a terrible thing. And, you know, it's good to be funny, but it's more important to be kind. Mm -hmm. If somebody makes a joke and five people are laughing and one person feel bad, feels bad, that's not a good joke. Right. That's a good lesson to learn. I think so. Sure. I think so. Um, so Ricky Vargas is a very funny kid, but he also learns, not that he's mean, not that he's, he's ever disrespectful, but he learns that there are times where it's okay to be funny and there are times it's not. And that's also a good lesson. Okay. For example, make a funny face in school, not so terrible. Make a funny face during the class picture, yeah, got trouble. <laughs> that's true, so that's true. So Ricky is acknowledged as the funniest kid in the world, although I'm sure everybody watching has a kid who's equally funny, because sure. kids are funny, let's face it. They're pretty entertaining. Now, did you make him up, or is he based I, on somebody? I made him up, although he's based on me, and he's based on my kids, and he's <laughs> sure, based on them, funny right? kids everywhere. Um, and it's a, it's a new form, I think. It's a chapter book for kids who aren't quite ready for chapter books. Okay. It's very heavily illustrated. Um, and by the wonderful Stacy Curtis, a man by the, the name of Stacy Curtis, who I have not met. He's in Illinois. And for example, it says, Ricky is funny in gym. And the coach is saying, I told you to put on gym clothes. And uh -huh. Ricky says, oh, I thought you said put on Jim's clothes. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. So Got poor Jim it. is waiting for his clothes back there. See, but as you funny. read it, it's, it's you know, there, there aren't an awful lot of words in the book, but there are three stories in the book. And it's heavily illustrated to mm -hmm. give kids who aren't quite ready for chapter books, aren't ready for wonderful books like Dan Gutman's Weird School series, okay. which are our favorite books. Um, but they want to read chapter books. About you know. how old are we talking? When do you think it's geared towards? Well, first grade, second grade, sure, okay. um, you know, accelerated kids in kindergarten who are mm -hmm. reading. Um, and, and it's just there are three fun stories, and, okay. and they're short and well illustrated. And there's a message to each one. Sure. So the first one, Ricky Vargas, the funniest kid in the world, has been out not quite a year. And Ricky Vargas, born to be funny, uh, was released this past Friday, February 1st. That's fantastic. And three more stories about Ricky uh, entering the talent show, about Ricky um, making, having an unfunny day, about a substitute teacher. Well, he can't have an unfunny day, can't right? can't have an unfunny day. <laughs> and the kids all try to cheer him up because if oh, Ricky isn't happy, 
no one's happy. I see. Uh, but it has a happy ending. All right. So they're they're right here, readily yeah. available. Readily correct? available everywhere you buy books. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, Alan. What advice do you have for uh, aspiring comedy writers? Oh, we don't need any more comedy writers. Okay. We really don't. I think my son and I have it covered. That's it. You're done. Um, <laughs> so if you want to laugh, you know there are books, and you just no. Um, listen, <laughs> um, there are so many outlets these days, and it's it's been wonderful to watch you know Andrew in high school because. He's making films, you know, anybody with a camera and a computer is a filmmaker. Sure. You know, in this 20 years age, ago, right? 10 years ago, if you wanted to have a radio show, you had to be on the radio. Well, now you can do a podcast. Now you mm -hmm. can have a blog. Now, you know, so the creative outlets are easy. And I, and I say to anybody who wants to create anything, do it. Why not, because right? If you don't there do are it, opportunities. You, if you don't do it, you're turning yourself down. You know, there are enough people out there to say, nope, you can't do something. But give yourself permission to be creative, whether it's funny. Shot. And the other message I want to I want to send out there is: these books are funny. You introduced me as a silly guy, mm -hmm. but not everything is silly. And I say that to kids all the time: read, have fun with these books, and then go go to your library, go to your bookstore, and find books that are serious, mm -hmm. that are more, you know, educational, that will teach you about other cultures or other planets or other countries or presidents or whatever. Have fun with books, no matter what you're doing. They'll sure. take you on great adventures. At least adventures. you're picking them up and reading them, right? I hope so. I hope so. You know, this is, uh, it's, it's a joy to reach kids and, and make them laugh. Sure. What's next for you, Alan? You going to be writing some more books? Yeah, some more books, some Good. new stuff coming out. Maybe we'll talk about that uh, come coming summertime. Coming up soon. All right. And uh, appreciate it. Sounds great. All right. The name of Alan's latest book series are Ricky, the Ricky Vargas series, The Funniest Kid in the World and Born to be Funny. Alan, again, thanks again for being Thank here. You too, so. Up next, we are heading into the kitchen to learn how to make rice pudding with apricots. Sounds good. But first, take a look at this.